to my channel. It's Jess with Love to Plan with Jess. And today I want to talk about my Go Wild experience. So this was the first time that I attended Go Wild. And um, I just want to let you know what I thought and uh, just kind of give a recap of my experience. So I do have some notes in my hand. I'm going to be looking down and referring to those just because um, I want to make sure that I don't leave anything out. So um, I arrived on Wednesday. The registration wasn't until Thursday, but I flew into Dallas on Wednesday just because I wanted to have a little bit of time to, I don't know, relax and uh, just have some downtime before um, all the craziness started. So I got there on Wednesday afternoon. I flew into the Love Field airport and the airport was great um it was a pretty small airport so really easy to navigate and the ride from the airport to the hotel was about 30 minutes i think so i took an uber and um got to lowe's probably around two or three o'clock i think so i checked in um sort of brought my stuff to the room and just decided to kind of go explore around the hotel it was a beautiful hotel I went out to the pool and um, read for about an hour or so just to just to relax and um, just to, to have some quiet time. And after uh, spending a little bit of time by the pool, I went across to the um, the live Texas live and there was a barbecue place there. And I can't remember the name of it, but um, there was a barbecue place and had some dinner. It was really good. I figured while in Texas, um, I wanted to get barbecue and I wanted to get Tex-Mex and I did end up having both. So um, I had barbecue on the first night. And then on Thursday morning, um, I woke up a little early. I was, I guess, uh, had a little bit of insomnia and a little bit of jet lag. And so I was up kind of early. So I checked the gym out. I did a quick little workout. It was a really nice gym. And after that, um, it was registration. So registration started at 11 a.m. It went all the way until seven. So you really had like all day to go. You didn't have to get there, you know, right in the beginning at 11. But since I was already up, I did. Um, so I went to registration and to the planner fair, which was really cool. There were a whole bunch of booths um, by a bunch of sponsors and um, got to go around to all the booths. I'll try and insert some pictures throughout, you know, this video as I'm as I'm talking. And I have quite a few pictures in the planner fair. Um, that was a lot of fun. Got some giveaways there. And I talk about that in my swag video um, that went up earlier this week. So I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, but uh, got a couple of swag items. And I actually did purchase two New Live Love Posh books. I didn't talk about that in my swag video, but um, Live Love Posh did drop four new sticker books and I bought two of them at the planner fair. I'm, I'm not, I'm assuming that I can share them. I'm not sure. I'm not an affiliate, so I don't want to, um, you know, steal anybody's thunder for, you know, to, for the affiliates that, you know, can promote those items. So um, that was why I didn't show it in my swag video. Uh, but you should see those um, soon. They're super, super cute. So after the planner fair, um, uh, I am a patron of Elise from Plan with Elise, and she had a happy hour for all of her patrons. And it was so sweet. Uh, it was over a crossover at the um, Texas Live, and uh, it was really nice to get to chat with some of her other patrons. And um, actually, we came uh friends with a few of them and it was just really nice to to meet them in person and um to meet elise in person it was the first time that i had met her so um so that was really nice it was great to to meet people that i had you know watched on a screen for so long and um seen on zoom calls for a while and uh, it was just so great to get to hug them and to meet them in person so that was a lot of fun uh, so that was in the afternoon on Thursday, on Thursday. And then, uh, on Thursday evening was the welcome party and that was sponsored by Archer and Olive. There were dueling pianos and karaoke. They had a couple of, um, like treats like Rice Krispie treats. And I believe there were cupcakes by the time I got there, the cupcakes were gone. So I didn't get to try them, but the Rice Krispie treats were really good. Um, they had a bar. Uh, where you could could buy some drinks. 
Um, and it was a lot of fun. The vibe was great. And uh, it was it was it was a great time. So I didn't stay. I think that party went from seven to ten. Um, I didn't stay till the end because I wanted to make sure that I got back to the room early so that I could get a good night's sleep. Um, I didn't get a good night's sleep, but I was hoping for a good night's sleep uh, because I knew that I wanted to be up early the next day for the first um, official like conference day. And that evening we got a room drop, which was so exciting. It was a, a kell of a plan self-care uh, box. I did show that in my swag video. Uh, it, it was a great, uh, great box and I'm so excited to use all the stuff that's in it. It was like a self-care journal and it came with some stickers and, um, and it was just, it was awesome. So that was super exciting. So I uh, went to sleep on Thursday, woke up early on Friday. Uh, the line was supposed to open at 630. So the official line was at 630. We went downstairs probably, I don't know, a couple minutes before six, uh, just because we wanted to, you know, see if there were people down there or not. And there was already quite a big line formed. So got in line. Um, I have to say that there were so many people, I think like 2000 plus attendees at this conference. Um, but I felt like they managed the, the line on that first day so well. It was very organized. It didn't feel chaotic. Um, so I, I was really happy about that because I didn't really know what to expect. I wasn't sure if, you know, it was going to be chaos with all of these people and not knowing where to go or what to do. But um, it was very, very organized. So the line officially opened at 630. And so we sort of moved from like the line before the line to like the actual line. <laughs> and then at 7.30 is when the doors open. So we go into the conference room and there are all these beautiful sponsor tables. And um, I went around the room and had a hard time picking the table that I wanted to sit at. There were just so many awesome choices. And by the time that I got into the room, there were still a lot of empty seats. There were so many options available. Um, I ended up sitting at the Notique table. And uh, if you wanna see the swag that I got, you can check out my swag video for uh, what was at that table. Um, but that was that was really fun. That, that whole experience was a lot of fun, going into the room and seeing everything for the first time and um, going through and trying to pick your table. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then after choosing my table, then they started with the speakers. So the first speaker was VJ from Notique. Uh, she told her story and it was a, a wonderful story, very heartwarming and very uplifting. Uh, the way that she talked about how, you know, she had very low self-esteem when she was a child and she was told that her dreams weren't attainable, um, but kind of how she overcame that. And she was a great speaker. I really, really enjoyed her. Uh, next up was Bonnie, the Archer and Olive founder, and she talked about um, mental wellness through creativity. And uh, we did a stream of conscious journaling exercise, and that's where you take like a certain amount of time, I believe it was five minutes, and you're just supposed to not really think and just kind of write for that whole entire time. Um, that was a pretty cool exercise. Next, there was a performance by Kristen Cruz. She's a songwriter, singer, and she gave a performance, which was really fun. And then we had um, Amber from Alt New, and we did a card making session, and that was really cool. We had some um, like scrapbook paper and stickers and things like that that we that were passed out to all of the tables and we could use those to make a card. And the idea was to make a card for yourself, to write your a note to yourself, and then they would mail it to you in six months. So it would be kind of like in six months, you get this card from yourself um, that you wrote at Go Wild, which is, um, I thought a really, really cool idea. And then next up was Martha Stewart, and it was so much fun to see Martha Stewart um, I thought she was hilarious. She um, she was a great speaker. Uh, it was it was really fun to watch her, 
And uh, one of my favorite quotes from her was, when you are through changing, you are through. And I thought that that, um, that kind of hit home. I, I really liked that, that quote from her. Um, they had a really long question and answer session, which was, which was great. Um, and it was, it was really fun to see her. So that ended the speakers on Saturday. Uh, no, on Friday. I'm sorry, on Friday. And Friday evening was the wild crop. So that was a session where um, they had three different parts to it. The first part was um, Mark. He's a content creator. And we got some uh, mild liner products. And it was super exciting because we got like brand new products that haven't uh, even released yet. And there are these dual mild liners. Um, I, again, I show them in my swag video. And I think I even drew with them like I kind of did like a small little demonstration um, but they're super super cool uh, new mild liner so that was really fun that we got the opportunity to see those and play with those and take some home uh, next was Bess from Lights Planner Action and uh, she did a little memory journal and then was Amanda with a little doodling session so the wild crop was really fun after that ended, just went to bed. And then on Saturday morning, uh, I didn't get up quite as early. I think Saturday morning probably came down around 645, closer to seven ish. And, uh, that morning there wasn't really a line formed. We just kind of all went upstairs and we're just sort of waiting uh, for them to open the doors. And once they did, went inside, found a seat, and that was the day that we could bring our table mate gifts. And table mate gifts, if you haven't been to Go Wild before, they're just gifts that you can bring to uh, hand out to the people that sit at your table on the second day of the conference. Um, it's not required and, uh, you know, it's not necessary, but uh, a lot of people do it. And it was really fun to, to hand out the different table make gifts and um and get some in return so uh that was sort of the first thing when you when you sit down and then we had the founders panel and a quote that um i really really liked from the founders panel actually came from felicia from gold mining coco and she said stop being afraid of your own potential and stop being afraid to fail and i really really liked that quote um they were founders from a, a few different small businesses and uh, it was uh, great to sort of hear their perspective. I really enjoyed that panel. Next was Erin Condren and she did the, uh, it was a planner challenge. So she had a few contestants up and one was a five minute challenge and one was a three minute challenge. The five minute challenge um, was to plan for a busy week. So the contestant had five minutes to plan for, for a busy week. And then the three minute challenge was to plan without a planner. They used like a lunch bag and some, you know, some materials that weren't, um, that weren't planners. So that was really fun to watch. Um, then we did a Simply Gilded workshop. We had Frank from Post Secret. Uh, this was, I'd heard about Frank uh, just from other people that have been to Go Wild in the past and um, heard that it can be emotional and it definitely was. There were a few um, very emotional stories, um, but a lot of them were uplifting and heartwarming and um, he was a great speaker. I really enjoyed, um, I really enjoyed uh, him. And a quote that I had from him is, when we're keeping a secret, that secret is actually keeping us. And, um, you know, that that quote kind of hit home to me. And then the very last speaker was um, V with Under the Desk News. And after, after the sessions on Saturday, uh, we had some downtime until Plan Jamma. So I went with some friends to a Tex-Mex restaurant. Um, and it was called Papacito. Um, I think it's a chain. So uh, if you, I guess, live in the area, you might know of it, but um, it was good. I had some fajitas and some queso and um, I really love like Mexican food, Tex-Mex food. So that was really fun. And then after that, I uh, went to Plan Jamma and it was, so when I arrived in Texas on Wednesday, I think it was like 90 degrees, it was really hot. And by the time we got to Saturday, it was pouring rain. 
crazy thunderstorms like all day and the temperatures dropped i want to say it was like in the 60s or maybe even colder it was it got cold and um the plan jamma was across the street at texas live and there was a like a walkway between the two hotels so i was staying at lowe's which was the main hotel for the conference and then um, there's like a, a walkway and then there's another hotel there and that's where the where Plan Jamma was uh, taking place. And so for whatever reason, that walkway was closed. So we had to go outside and across the street in order to get to Plan Jamma. So um, kind of ran across the street in the rain and uh, uh, in the cold. I think that there were probably some people that had to change up their Plan Jamma uh, outfits because of the weather, but, um, it was really fun. So got there and, you know, music and there was a bunch of food and desserts. There was an ice cream bar that, um, I had some, I had a little like make your own ice cream sundae, which was really good. And, uh, it was a lot of fun, just people dancing and letting loose. And, um, it, it was great. It was, uh, a really fun end to the weekend. So I guess wanting to sort of recap and, uh, my overall experience, I had a blast. I thought that it was an amazing experience. Um, just, I met so many wonderful people and people that, were strangers you know a week ago that now i really call friends which i don't know to me sounds like kind of crazy kind of kind of strange but they really do feel like friends um just so many so many great people that i met and uh just had such a wonderful time i i was sending pictures actually to my husband throughout the time there and he actually text text me back and said like you look so happy and really that's just how i felt i just felt just so happy to be there and so happy to be um in that environment and um with so many so many really cool people so um my experience was a great one i definitely plan to go to go wild 2025 um i don't know when they're going to announce i think I'm trying to think when the location was announced for Dallas. I think I purchased my ticket maybe in like the summer or like the very end of the summer. And I think the location was announced maybe like a month or so prior. So it'll probably be a few more months before they announce where the location of um, Go Wild 2025 will be. But, um, you know, as long as I can, I definitely plan to attend because I had such a great time. Um, let me know in the comments if you were there, if, um, if I saw you, if, if we chatted, uh, I would love to say hi again. And, um, I guess, let me know if you have any other questions about Go Wild. Um, so I guess that's going to do it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.